BBC News at Midday. The BBC has just released details of its attempts to investigate allegations about a presenter in the period before The Sun approached the corporation with an accusation that he'd paid a teenager for explicit images. The BBC said it sent the young person's family an email which went unanswered and made a call to a mobile number which would not connect. The BBC Director General Tim Davey has also said the corporation has paused its internal investigation while the Metropolitan Police look into the matter. More from our media correspondent, David Silito. The Sun's headline today, an accusation that the BBC are liars. The stepfather of the young person at the centre of the allegations is reported to have questioned the BBC's account about what it knew and when. The corporation has now released what it says is a timeline of events. It says a family member first tried to complain by visiting a BBC building in May. Then, the day after, filed a complaint. The corporation said it tried to contact the complainant by email and phone, but without success and made no further attempt to contact them until last week when it says new allegations of possible criminality emerged after an approach by The Sun which led to contact with the complainant, an investigation and the unnamed presenter being suspended. And also today, an announcement following a meeting yesterday that the BBC investigation be paused while the police look at the complaint. The average two-year fixed-rate mortgage now costs 6.66%, the highest level for 15 years. The figure surpasses the peak seen in the aftermath of Liz Truss's mini-budget last autumn. Giving evidence to the Commons Treasury Committee, lenders said they'd not seen a rise in the number of house homeowners falling into arrears yet. But Charlotte Harrison from the Skipton Building Society told MPs the situation may change as people came off their fixed-term mortgages. They've been, for the most part, been making capital repayments against that, so the balance will have been reducing over time. Um, We also know that we've just come out of double-digit house price growth. So I think what what I expect to see over the next six months is that we will see more customers um, with financial stress, um, (coughs) but I expect that to be um, relative to to the market. Ukraine's leader Volodymyr Zelensky has expressed concern about the discussions taking place about his country's application to join NATO. Speaking on his way to the NATO summit in Lithuania, President Zelensky said it would be unprecedented and absurd if no timeline for accession was set. The head of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg, has said the summit will send a clear and positive message on Ukrainian membership. Average pay was 7.3% higher in the three months to May compared with a year earlier. The Office for National Statistics said the real value of earnings was still falling because of high inflation. The European Court of Human Rights has upheld an appeal by the double 800-metre Olympic champion Casta Semenya in a case involving testosterone levels in female athletes. The 32-year-old South African was born with differences of sexual development and is not allowed to compete in events between 400 metres and a mile without taking testosterone-reducing drugs. Alex Kapstick reports. In their conclusion, the court said the regulations for athletes with differences of sexual development are discriminatory and therefore incompatible with its convention. But it's not clear how or even if the decision will affect the current regulations, as it only applies to the country of Switzerland, where Casta Semenya failed in a challenge to lift the testosterone restrictions set by World Athletics. The sports governing body has defended its rules as reasonable and proportionate and said they will remain in place. Any changes would probably need the Lausanne-based Court of Arbitration for sport to reopen the case. And the National Security Police in Hong Kong have raided the family home of the pro-democracy campaigner Nathan Law. Mr Law, who has asylum in the UK, is wanted in Hong Kong on suspicion of subversion and collusion with foreign forces. BBC News. This is BBC Radio 4. Our guide to understanding technology continues after the world at one. Yesterday...